So it all depends on the lens you're looking through, right? So that's what we're doing in this project. We're looking through as wide of a variety of lenses as we possibly can. We're going from the optical beam that would give us the bird's view of a landscape all the way down to the electron beam that will allow us to probe deep into the crystal structures of materials. And we're taking all of that and we're incorporating it into a courses uh, that will allow students to embed themselves into the exploration of uh, geological concepts. We're doing that by taking them to some very uh, interesting geological locations that also happen to be quite spectacularly beautiful. Uh, so we are trying to uh, combine all of that, combine video, combine electron microscopy, combine a variety of techniques. And that's why we're borrowing the concept of hyperreality uh, for the title of our project. We're doing hyperreality journeys into the Earth. And we're borrowing that concept from philosophy in which it is applied to uh, giving people a different kind of reality, sometimes uh, well beyond what their senses can uh, perceive. And this is really, really true when you're looking at things down to their atomic structure. Why do we do this? Uh, we do this because across different disciplines, we have found that you can obtain pretty fundamental knowledge from one scale that you would not obtain from the other. So this is true for geological processes, it's true for population, it's true for uh, chemical reactions. We're doing all of that and hopefully uh, some of you will find other applications uh, in other fields. <laughs>